scientific food pairings, molecular gastronomy cutlery, and 3D food printings. Today we're going to talk about scientific consumption. Hey guys, Michael Hemsworth here. Welcome back to Ed's Picks. So first up here we've got molecular gastronomy cutlery. So it's the Aroma Fork by Molecule R. And essentially what this device does is it turns any of your meals and every bite into a gourmet meal by infusing 21 flavors via scent into each bite. So that could be anything from a burger to a steak. So next up we've got intuitive food printers with the Electrolux Atomium and essentially what this device is, is it uses the power of atoms and molecules to design and create the perfect meal for you. Now whether that be with regard to taste or what you need anatomically or nutritionally, that's what this device is going to take care of for you. So next up we have the Molecular Meal Makers. Uh, so this one covers the Gastroplay Kit by Electrolux. And essentially what this is, is an all-in-one uh, cooking utensil. It's something of an appliance where everything that you need to do within the kitchen can be stored and done on this one device. So whether it be that you're looking for instructions, um, some recipes to follow, it'll guide you through that not only, but it will also aid in the creation of that meal. So it really brings cooking down to a fine science. Next up we have scientific food pairings, and this one covers Bernard Lahousse's work and what it means uh, you know, between the flavorings that we wouldn't necessarily think would work together, but scientifically do make sense. So one example that he covers is the combination of asparagus, coffee, and strawberries. So not necessarily the most appetizing of combinations, but it, apparently it works scientifically, so there's that. Alrighty, so that'll do it for our top picks for scientific consumption. If you yourself have tried any of these devices, or if you would consider trying some 3D printed food, or anything along those lines with molecular gastronomy, feel free to leave us a comment below, or you can tweet me at mhemsworth. And yeah, we'll see you next time on Outpicks.